So we go to libs folder and we create a new dart file. So one thing you typically do in Flutter apps is you don't put all your code in one root widget. So I will create a dart file called cards. In this cards, I will import the package of material design. So material design that we have imported before uh, in the main dart, dart file me uh, does not mean that it is imported in all uh, your project files so we need if you need uh, the the package of material design inside the cards you need to import it now i will create a class and we will split uh, uh, the code up uh, we have got uh, of course a stateful widget which we need to manage our cards so uh, now we can use a stateless widget, uh, a stateless uh, widget, because uh, we need uh, just a, a, a code or uh, to handle the the uh, column that we are going to create. So let's create first of all a list and pass the data of this card, uh, card list and uh, put them uh, into um, into con into our app so the list of cards will be a final list string and cardi i will rename it as cardi now uh, now i'm going to create I'm going to create a cards uh, cards uh, cards class that will take a list as uh, a parameter. Now, the file name is up to you, but the the convention is to write it all as lower case. So, if you have multiple words, spread them with underscore. Now, uh, you need to add uh, that import, as I said before, uh, to every new file because every file works standalone. Now, let's go back to the, uh, to the uh, override method of the stateless widget and we are going to create this class. I will return to, the, to my code to get, uh, to cut the code so the column with the products uh, of the of the cards will be a return widget uh, return uh, w uh, widget for the build method of my widget so i've created now as we see a, a widget a state a stateless widget that have a build method this build method will uh, pass or return it will pass or return a column so we created we have created this uh, file cards uh, cards uh, file in order to um, in order to have uh, a column a widget returned in the widget or the bold method now back to the main i will cut the code of the column And I will paste it as return widget. Now this is our code. It will work very fine. Now the constructor also has some other features through. So, uh, and we need one feature only. It should be able to accept a list of products and the list of cards that you can name this argument whatever you uh, want but i will name it cardi hello guys now i will create a new file called uh, the cards manager so this card manager will uh, plan to well manage my cards uh, in a, a standalone a, uh, file or a dart file so uh, this class or this Dart file will uh, work separately and clean our, my code and uh, make it efficient.
Now I will create a class uh, and I imported the package of material uh, flutter. I will create a class called a cards manager that extends the stateful widget. Now, now uh, here we are going at, uh, I will, uh, I will uh, comment for every step. If you even don't uh, understand my voice or even you don't understand uh, my, uh, my uh, accent or language, I will put every step in a comment. So here we need to change the state of widgets. The stateful widgets need to create a state method, which I add with the help of my uh, Android Studio. And therefore we need to add a second class then the uh, the cards uh, cards class which extend the state which is a generic type linking to the uh, cards manager so as a step first step i will manage the list of the cards by creating uh, first of all the state because it's stateful widget i will create the state uh, method now which is a generic type this is this has the build method again adding with the help of my uh, my uh, android studio now the class the class manager i will extend cards manager i will extend it so uh, I will create the uh, cards manager state extending the state of card cards manager. Now in this class, I will put the uh, widgets or the container that I've uh, we have created in the the main activity. So uh, on the main uh, dot uh, dart file. So uh, we need to add the widgets and the build method remember we just uh, making the code uh, our code uh, cleaner and uh, and uh, improvement we are adding improvements for uh, the, the way of thinking the way of uh, connecting uh, ideas and things and uh, flutter in more a uh, convenient and more simple way so we are just dividing the uh, files the, and for every file we are making and assigning its uh, function now i will go to the container that i've created the raised button and the child of the container this is the container i will uh, select it Okay, this is the end of the container. I will cut, uh, cut it and I will go to the back to the build method and I will return this widget. So, uh, what I'm making is uh, just uh, for uh, splitting the code and make it is easier to uh, to manage and to uh, remember and easy to uh, to configure and uh, pass data between files so in next videos we are going to learn how to pass data between different types of uh, of files and different types of widgets now we are creating the list and here we go we have solved the error of guarding now uh, in order to call the class called the cards manager state we need to return it in the state uh, of the stateful widget so uh, in uh, as we we have learned before in order to call the class we need to return it and we put the parentheses of the uh, name after the name of the class so here we go now 
just let me see. Okay, the new container. And now just making the container uh, because we have we are going to add new new containers that have the cards. We are going to put all of these in a column in a column widget. So uh, I will delete these angle brackets and make the container that we have cut it before because it was uh, having and holding just one card now we are going to allow the user to add more and more cards and all cards will be returning and in and arrange in the column we have created now we added this con uh, column this is uh, just for uh, for reviewing why we are uh, adding the column So uh, as I told you, we are adding this, col uh, this column widget to allow us to add new widgets and new cards. Now, I'm solving this. Uh, okay now here we are going to add we are going to add another widget called cords so why we are we are calling this because we are adding the lists of the cords that we are we have created in a list and this list will be displayed as cards now i'm going to to import first of all the package and the cards dot dot files so import dot cards Cores dot dot. So in this way, I am importing the 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 file inside another file. In this way, so uh, the the dot then uh, the the slash and uh, the name of the file means and or uh, gives an inter interpretation and importing of the uh, package and the uh, uh, file, all of it. Now, because we have imported, we can use its method or its constructor. And I'm passing uh, the, the cards constructor and putting inside it the value. Now, the value of my list is called Cordy. Now, here we go. And semicolon. Okay, uh, specifying the name for named arguments. Try to removing the extra positional arguments. So if we go to the chords, and here we go, we are uh, passing the list because it is a constructor. And we are passing Cordy list as an argument for it now as we've we've done before as we do we are go are we done here and making here we will do the same and make another uh, or uh, split our core uh, our uh, code again so Now, the stateful widget, I can uh, make it a stateless widget because no matter and uh, no need to use stateless widgets and uh, stateful widgets. And uh, 
I recommend using the stateless widgets uh, in your applications. Now, no need to use the uh, uh, the widget, and we are going just to need uh, to put the build method. Now, let's import the cards dot main dot uh, dart cards manager dot dart file. As I told you, point and slash and the name of the dart file and this way you can import uh, the file and use its all uh, of co uh, its uh, uh, components now we are designing and splitting the code as we we seen before as we split the, the container and remove the container from uh, from the body we are going to now also split the 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 code and put it uh, in an arranged and very well designed uh, pattern and design uh, files. Now, uh, in order to call the, the the manager, we just put in the body cards manager and the const and we are calling the constructor that will assign and start building the UI for us. So, the body, the body uh, uh, card uh, in the body, we are calling the this constructor for the cards manager that in turn uh, will uh, will start building the our uh, widgets and our UI and the file when whenever the app is built and instantiated. Now let's save the files, save all, and let's run it and see. I am just uh, need to uh, run our my emulator, and my emulator is online. And let's hit start. So what we have uh, made in this tutorial is just splitting the code and uh, learn how to uh, to manage data between the activity the the files and how to pass data between two files and how to manage and make um, a cards manager uh, file. <laughs> so now let's uh, let's see our uh, our app. And here we go. It is the same and and working fine. Now adding the cards also done. Please hit subscribe and like to get the next uh, tutorials and many tutorials daily uploads. Just hit like, subscribe and comment. Thank you.